Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Hi, this is Danny Lambert with Plush Republic, continuing on with the MailChimp series. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to manually add a subscriber to your audience. And then in the follow-up to this, I will be showing you how to import a list to your audience, and then ultimately how to have uh, form submissions and webhooks, etc. automatically add people to your audience. Um, so for the first one, I just want to add a single person. Uh, maybe they emailed you and they didn't you know, add themselves to their list, but you only have one person you want to add as opposed to maybe a whole list of people. Uh, so within MailChimp, you click on Audience. Uh, now, you're only allowed to, in the free version, have a single audience, whereas previously you were allowed to have uh, multiple audiences. Now you have to like upgrade uh, to create multiple ones, but you can kind of get the same effect via groups and segments, etc., which I'll show you in some later videos. So say I have someone that I want to add to an audience, I would or my audience, I click manage audience, add a subscriber. From here it's very simple, you would just plus one, two, three, four, uh, put in their email address, first name, last name, and then if you want this, this is all optional information, uh, you can put this in, phone number, etc., birth date, I'll put that in here, it's pretty quick. Um, and again, you can customize all of this, which I'll show in another video, uh, by creating additional uh, merge variables. So you can uh, create custom fields, and then you can use as merge variables in all of your other assets, which again, I'll show you in a later video. Uh, if you want to tag people, so say I want to say like blog subscriber, or you know, however else you might want to use this webinar, uh, cart abandonment, whatever kind of tags that you like, you can use those for segmentation later as well. And it's mandatory that this person gave you permission to email them. Uh, and this is an important one to check, especially on list import. Uh, if this person is already on my list, update their profile. This is essentially saying, do you want duplicates or do you not want duplicates? Uh, in the vast majority of cases, uh, you would you would want to update their profile if you're getting new information from them. So I'll click this and I'll hit subscribe. And now I have two contacts, two of these are subscribers. When I go to my audience, you know, it says I have one new contact, which is great. And then I can come in here. Um, and sorry, I click right here and I can view all my contacts and there's the new one that I added with the, uh, the birth date and the tag. So in the next video, I will go ahead and show you how to import a list of subscribers in a similar fashion and then after that I'll show you how to put a form on your website and have it automatically uh, push that information into your audiences within MailChimp. Uh, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for some more videos.